Hey guys, we're here today in Valheim, taking a look at the new growable items being onions, birch trees, and oak trees. Seeing how exactly we get them, how long they take to grow in, and what we can get from them. The first thing we'll talk about is the acquisition. Onion seeds can be found in the mountain biome, in the chests inside of many ruined buildings. It is not guaranteed that they will be in the chest, but when you do find them, they typically drop in groups of 3 to 8 seeds each chest. So if you have the gear to explore the mountains, they can be fairly easy to find. You can acquire birch seeds from chopping down birch trees. And since Iron Gate did a small patch to increase the drop rates for them, I've been getting them about 20% of the time, getting roughly one birch seed from every five trees I chop. For any other tree, this would be an absolutely phenomenal drop rate. For birch trees, however, in order to find a lot of them, you have to go to the plains, which means you have to deal with the nuisance of death mosquitoes and fuelings, so they could still be a little difficult to get. Oak trees also got a buff to their drop rate, and since the patch, I've been averaging out one acorn per oak tree I chop down. Their drop rate is not 100%, and you will sometimes chop a tree down that does not drop an acorn. But I also have had some drop two to three acorns, which make up for the ones that don't drop, and you will average out about one acorn per oak tree you chop down. The next thing that's important to know is once you get onion seeds, birch seeds, or acorns is what biomes can we plant them in. All three of these items follow the typical planting behavior, and they can be planted in the black forest, the meadows, and the plains. They cannot be planted in the swamps or the mountains. So although you can find the onion seeds in the mountains, they cannot be planted there. This also means that the plains remains the top place to do a farm since it is the only biome that can grow every plant in the game. Another important factor is when we are planting these items, how far apart do they need to be in order to not get the needs room to grow message. With onions, it is fairly simple, and it is the exact same as turnips and carrots. It is approximately one meter apart. I've done this in another video where you can vertically turn any beam and place it on either side of the beam, and that is a good distance. Afterwards, you can destroy the beam, and they will grow just fine. Clearly, this is not a long-term solution to running a farm, but after a few times of doing it, you'll get an understanding of what the distance looks like and how to plant it naturally. Birch trees, on the other hand, need two meters apart in order to grow just fine. I would give a little bit of room for error on this since the canopy of one of the trees could interfere with the other one growing if they sprout at slightly different times. This is a huge factor when we're talking about oak trees. You could plant oak trees just three meters apart and neither one will get the needs room to grow message. However, when one of them sprouts up, it will almost immediately kill the second one because it grows just way too large. In order to get two of them to grow without any issues or conflict, you need to place them eight meters or more apart so that when one of them sprouts, the other one does not die from its canopy or its increase in size. Once we've got them planted down without any issues and we have everything placed how we'd like, the growth time becomes fairly important. Our onion growth time again falls right in line with carrots and turnips and is approximately one hour and 20 minutes in order to grow, which is just under three in-game days in order to go through its cycle and be harvestable. Birch trees are slightly longer than that at one and a half hours. And oak trees take all the way up to two hours and 15 minutes to grow fully, which is almost five days in Valheim. Now, when you finally do get them planted, grown, and you are about to make your harvest, it's important to know how much you're gonna get. Onion seeds will produce one onion from each one, just like carrots and turnips. And planting an onion in the ground to get more seeds back will produce three seeds, which means that they have the exact same ratio as the carrots. And however you've been managing your carrot farm is the same way you should manage your onion farm. Birch trees, when chopped down, will drop a total of 22 wood. Now this wood will be split between fine wood and regular wood, with a slightly higher percentage to regular wood. I've seen anywhere between 5 and 14 fine wood, and 8 and 17 regular wood dropped. But on average, it was 22 wood split about 60-40 towards regular wood. Oak trees drop a total of 50 wood, and is almost split dead even between regular wood and fine wood, dropping approximately 25 of each. It will vary from here just a little bit, but you can bank on a pretty high amount of fine wood. Now, if you're gonna try to use either of the new trees for defending your base or creating a tree wall, it's important to know that birch trees only have 80 hit points, which is the same durability of beech trees, which you might use for defense as well. So birch trees probably offer nothing special in terms of making a tree wall. Oak trees, on the other hand, have 200 durability, making them very powerful, with their only major downside being the difficulty to place them close together. The last thing that I want to point out is that onions cannot be harvested like flax and barley with an at gear or a pole arm, and they will be destroyed upon impact or taking any damage, just like the carrots and the turnips. So make sure you're careful in that area with your weapons. Hopefully this video was helpful to you, and hopefully you're putting the onions and things like that to good use in Hearth and Home and enjoying some of the new additions. Let me know down in the comments if you've had any luck getting birch seeds or acorns, or if you've had more successful drop rates.
Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.